Okay, let's have a look at how to augment a VSTi with an external MIDI controller, such as the launch control here, or indeed any other uh, hardware MIDI controller. First, let's head over to our VSTs folder. Insert a VST of our choice. I've chosen the Vacuum Pro here. There's quite a lot of controls on the Vacuum Pro. For this tutorial, I'm just going to shrink this down to the kind of key control parameters. Now you'll notice also that there is a live device in the track here, in the track view. And what we're interested in is this little node here. When we click on the node, it expands the configure panel. And when we click on the configure button, it enables us to assign controls from within the VST to the configuration panel. Notice as I'm touching each of these controls, the corresponding control is appearing in the configure panel here. Great. This enables me to control the parameters of the VST directly from the live device. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to group this. By grouping it we enable access to Ableton Live's macros and the macros within this rack we can now map each of these parameters to one of the macros. You'll notice that as I'm doing this it's resetting the values to minimum important to notice that because what we're going to do now is we're going to reset these values to their standard settings. This is so that when we save this as a preset it will always open in the default position. Now we can easily access these controls from here. We could add some color to make this look nice and we can also activate the mapping mode here within the rack and that enables us to define custom ranges for each of these macro parameters. It also enables us to invert ranges and essentially customize this particular VSTi and the core parameters to suit our personal preferences. Once we're happy with those mappings we can go out of map mode. We can shrink this down to just the rack macro view then we can rename it something useful, such as my vacuum config. Once we've done that, we can save it in our library, my vacuum config, which we can recall in any project at any time. Now, when it comes to MIDI mapping, <coughs> what we next need to do is go into MIDI mapping mode which we can access in the top right corner here. And then we simply need to select each of these macros and turn a control on our MIDI controller, like this. Very quickly mapped all of those controls to the top row of my controller here.